Hey guys, welcome to my channel. As you know, I'm Full Figured and Sassy. Uh, for those of you who do not know me, um, I'm new, so don't be too harsh on me. I love makeup, fashion. Um, on top, I'm a 2X, 3X, bottom, 18, 20. Um, and I thought today that we would kind of do some makeup and maybe hair. My hair is kind of a mess today, but oh well. Um, I just wanted to share some stuff with you. Um, I ordered some palettes off of Wish. I have ordered lots of palettes off of Wish, and I've never experienced this. This is the Mercury Retrograde palette, I guess. Let's see. I guess you can see it. My lighting is ridiculous. It is this, which is very beautiful, beautiful colors. I love the packaging. It's like styrofoam, kind of. But the problem I have is the smell. Here's the other one. They're actually, the crazy thing is, is they have the same names. Like, this one says Cosmic. This one, right here, it says Cosmic. They're the same names, yet different colors in them. Like, I don't get that. But the smell is atrocious. Like, when you open them, they make you want to gag. Very badly. And, of course, I thought, see, it even still has the little thing on that. The thing is, is they sent me two of the same palettes. They have the weirdest smell. Like, I can't even tell you what the smell is. It's like a chemically smell in it. But it also smells sour, like spoiled. I don't know how to explain it. Very, very huh, um, nasty. It's hard to, like, I have tried a couple of the colors, and if you can get past the smell, you're wonderful. But they just, I don't know, the smell is ridiculous. But here it is again. And this is the little plastic thing that goes on it. And that's what it looks like on the front, which is nowhere even remotely the palette that I've seen to choose from. Those, just be forewarned. This is the next palette that I got from Wish, which is Beauty Glazed. And this one doesn't smell at all. But some very, very beautiful colors in them. Very, very beautiful. They're shiny and glossy-like. Very, very, very beautiful. But this one doesn't smell. This one doesn't smell at all. So I have no understanding of that. I got this yesterday, which is Huda Beauty. Electric Obsessions. It's a little small palette, as you can see. And I still have the thing in it, which is some very beautiful colors. Very, very beautiful. I'm very drawn to the yellow for some reason. This doesn't smell at all either. This smells like makeup. But these, even though there are beautiful colors, I cannot get past the smell. I wish I had smell vision. Then you could smell what I'm trying to say. These are weird. They're just, I did try them. They did not break me out. They did not give me like a migraine or something I felt like I knew was from these eyeshadows. But it's just a smell, y'all. I can't, I can't do the smell. The smell is atrocious. It is bad. Like, I just wish you could smell them. But anyway, okay. So let's start with, I've already washed my face scrub the tarnation out of it. The dove was, they say. So, I always go in with the Olay Eyes Eye Lifting Serum, which is that. I love this stuff. You have no idea how amazing it is. And I do not only use it on my eyes, I use it right here. And if you have a fat face like me, this lifts your crease where your cheeks are a little. So, I like to use it there. And, of course, on the eyes. And, by the way, for those of you that do not know me, I'm 37. Grandmother of two absolutely amazing little boys. One is three, and one is ten months. And they are my world. And I will post a picture so that everyone can get to know me and my family. Now, I like to use the Olay Moisturizing. 
cream, not only for the wrinkles, but it is amazing for the skin. And I do use a brush because I don't want it under my nails. You know how you have to like dip your finger down in there and then you get like half the jar under your fingernails? Yeah. So that's why I use a brush. Okay. Let me just rub it in. This is all moisturizing. Because I have learned from being in the dark about makeup and just putting it on that what is underneath your makeup is what is either good or bad. And I have very different colored skin on my face. Um, my face is really red in parts, like if you can tell. Like I'm red all through here and through here. Through here I have like really bad bags in my eyes. It's actually dark under here. Why? I have no idea. But we deal with it. So now that my face is moisturized and feels very soft. And by the way, this is not sticky or tacky. Um, it just really feels refreshing on your face. Okay, so to the point. I like to do my eyes first. And I have noticed watching a lot of YouTube videos that they like to start with their eyes too most of the time. Um, it keeps from, like if you do your foundation now, then go do your eyes. You have like a lot of chances that your eyeshadow is going to fall like even though you tap it on your thing when you put it on it will fall down here and you will have specks of whatever color you're using um sometimes i like to go out of the box and use bright colors sometimes i like to use browns um my favorites are reds and browns i think that kind of suits me better but sometimes i feel a little crazy and i'll use blues and oranges and different colors like that so you don't want it falling on here because then when you go to wipe it off, you're wiping off all the effort you put into covering your bags, covering your brown spots, or whatever you have that you're covering. You're going to be wiping it off. So then that was worthless. You're wasting product. You still have to go back and redo your under eyes. Or you will smear it, and you will have blue and purple, whatever color you're using, splattered everywhere. So I like to do my eyes first. So I like to use, where is my stuff? The Hard Candy. Sheer Envy Instant Eye Fix Under Eye Treatment. It depuffs, brightens, smooths, primes, and moisturizes, which is this. And I actually discovered this in Walmart. I actually went to get some makeup. And as you know, when you're browsing and people have laid makeup everywhere that's not where it's supposed to be, I actually found this. And trust me, I have tried to use everything under my eyes. A lot does not cover. A lot does not do what you want it to do. So I thought, well, what would it hurt to try? And... I love it. Like, it was a find, and I love it. Need to try this, people. Need to try it. It says, an eye treatment that instantly brightens, depuffs, and smooths fine lines. This skincare benefit packed formula comes with a luxurious metal applicator that cools and immediately smooths the delicate under, under eye area. So, it does come with a, sorry, metal tip that you put the squirt it and then, you know, rub it underneath there. But, I like to use my finger. Because I don't feel that this little metal tip does what it's supposed to do. I just like what's inside of this tube. <laughs> so we do the eye. I like to do it like that. And just rub it in. Like that. And as you can see, this eye's done, this eye's not. And look what a difference. Like I can tell. I don't know if you can. But it's like it just instantly, my eye looks amazing. And this one still looks drooped. So we do the other eye. And then down on top. And there it is. Like it is amazing. And it's not tacky. It's not sticky. It just looks great. Like I know you can't see or tell right now, but you will see in the end when the makeup is done. Alright, give this just a second to kind of do its thing. And then I like to use, where is my highlighter? And y'all, I lost my tube thing off of this, like my sponge. I cannot find it nowhere. So, I use a little brush that is very, very little. Um, it's an e.l.f. concealer brush. Love these, as I have come to know. 
You do not have to have a $300 set of brushes to do your makeup. You can actually just use cheap brushes. So, down. Get that as close under the eye as you can. Okay. So, I take this little brush, and before you comment and say that is a nasty, very nasty looking sponge, my sponges are clean, just clean them, I just get hooked on a sponge that I like, and I don't want to change until it's literally falling apart, then maybe. And this little sponge I got in a bay box, the subscription that you subscribe to. And this little thing feels like a puff of marshmallow. Like you are patting your face with clouds. Uh, that's the only way I can explain it. This is the softest little sponge that I have ever encountered. And I do have multiple sponges. I get them at Walmart seven six five dollars whatever this one is clean too guys it's just stained with makeup but this is amazing like it literally feels amazing i love it love it love it love it love it love it okay and once you get that patted out on the eyes then i do the brows i have tried the big brows that everybody does um i don't think it suits me at all so, I'm not going to have these big caterpillars on my face, like you see some people do. But it suits them. This just doesn't suit me. So, I just do a very fine line of eyebrows. And it's worked for me. So, it may work for you guys. And then you may be like, no, they're too thin. But, everybody has their own preference of what they like. And I like... This. And I just are basically drawing them on, but I will go in and kind of fill them in a little bit and make them look more better. But right now it just kind of gives me where my eyebrows are when I put my eyeshadow on. So after that, then we pick out the colors that we're wanting to use. Now, like I said, I am a very brown, red kind of gal. I do experiment with different colors, but I kind of find. Oh, I forgot my. I need to be more organized. This is color corrector, and this is really good to hide your red, like your red splotches on your face. I use the same sponge, and just put a dab, and I just go where all my red is, which is always the fat part of my cheeks that are the reddest. And my chin. You just dab, dab, dab. Get the carnation out of it. Under the chin. And the forehead. And then that's there. Oh, and guys, if if you do not like a country girl, the way she talks, then maybe my channel is not for you. If you don't like girls that are plus size, maybe my channel is not for you. Um, like I said, I'm new, but once I get started, I will be doing some clothing hauls and try-ons. Um, so, yeah, I will be showing the fat arms and the belly. So, you know, if you don't like it, then maybe my channel is not for you. And I do not condone bullying. So, if you think that I am too fat to be on here, and if you do not like 
anything about me. I cannot change that, so maybe you don't need to be on my channel. So, all right, once that is on, then we're going to use the Heart Candy Sheer Envy Pore Defense Primer. It is a 12 hour pore refining, minimizes the appearance of pores, all free, silicone free. Because I have very large pores. Again, we can do the same sponge. And I just use it where I have the most trouble with pores, which is always the most obvious places. Your forehead, your high cheekbones, your areas that people look at the most. So. Okay, now, once that is out of the way, now we can get to eyeshadow. I am feeling maybe maybe sorry, got something in my eye. Bugs. feeling maybe let's do scarlet and scarlet is this one right here so of course I will get my blending brush which is I have no idea it says wet and wild I have no clue like what size or anything that it is because it is worn down so there is nothing on it because like I said you don't need expensive brushes okay so let's start with the scarlet and we're going to use blend this Blend, blend. This is an actually a very a pigmented palette, y'all. Um, like I said, it's, it's this and it was on the ish. Very, very, very pigmented colors. Um, you really don't need a whole lot on your brush to blend like to get the color that you want i mean as always you can layer more to make it darker but if you're just wanting that simple color that is in that palette like i find so hard to find palettes unless they are so expensive and this country girl is not buying expensive eye palettes when you can make your makeup look just as good with the cheapos I see a lot on the YouTube, like, cheap makeup versus expensive makeup. Ladies, I'm 37. All my life, I have used Dollar Store, Dollar Tree, Rite Aid, Family Dollar, eyeshadow. I have never in my life paid $50 for an eye palette. Um, and probably will not ever, unless I win the lottery and feel like what's $50 just being on the palette. But until then, no. So, now that we have the base on that we want, we need to go in with a deeper color. And I'm going to use this little brush. Um, I have no idea where I even got this brush. I don't know. Like, it has writing on it. It is Royal and Lane Nickel. And it's a smoky eye. Like I, I don't even know, I don't even know what number it is. I don't even know where it even came to be with me. But now that we have the scarlet on, let's go in with, hmm, I'm going to say Marin, but y'all, I'm just here to do makeup. So I can't even, like I don't know that that's what it is. And we're just going to do the outer corner. We're going to go back in 
with our blending brush that we just used and blend this out. So once you get it on there, let me make sure you get it where you need it. Take the same brush that you just used to put on the other color, and we're just wanting like a highlight, I guess. Everybody calls it a crease, but and y'all, that's another thing that I can't. I'm like really, really, really going to have to practice is the cut crease, y'all. That is the hardest. I don't care how easy these girls make it look. That shit is hard. That shit is the hardest to do until I guess you accomplish it. But this girl can't do the eye crease. Which sucks because you can do so much with the eye crease. Like it really makes the colors that you're wanting to overlap stand out better. So that is something I'm gonna have to keep practicing. So there's that blend it out. Kind of looks good. Okay, let's go back in with that and do the side, which is harder than what it can be. But guys, I really just, I really want this to work. Um, I love makeup. You know, sometimes I may go a little over because it's hard to do my makeup if you have somewhere that you need to be because I get so lost in it. Like I could sit here for hours just doing it. Because it's just on my method. So now we are going to blend this out and make it look somewhat like the other side that I find to be hard to do. Because it just seems like everything is easy for one side and then the other side. Sorry, guys, if I'm sniffling. I had my grandson, and I think I caught this sniffle from him. Okay, so then that is blended out. Very good. Okay, now we're going to go in with a darker color, which I would like to use black. This palette, yes, it looks a little grungy. I uh, didn't take time to clean it. This is from e.l.f., the new classic. It has some very, very, very beautiful colors in it. And yay, they do have names, which is amazing, because some do not. And the one that I'm going to use is this black one right here. N-O-R. I'm not sure if it's Nord or what, but comment down below and let me know, because I may be not saying these words right. But we are going to go in with this little wispy brush again has no names on it as you can see it's just a two-ended brush one's like an angle and one is a very very fluffy so we're going to go in with that and with this i just want to do the outer corners of my eyes y'all like right here in the corner i just want that deep dark effect to be like really there but not to look like you have dark 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 black on kind of just ease it out there it's very easy with black y'all some people can just really overdo black like there are some eye makeups that they use black and they use a ton of it, and it looks good, like, on camera. I'm not quite for sure how that looks off camera, like, if I seen that person, <laughs> when I'd be like, oh my god, what have you done to your eyes? But we're just going to ease that out like that a little bit. And, yeah, like that. Like, see, it already looks amazing. So we do it again. Sorry, I got a little house dog. <laughs> the hair's everywhere. Okay. And we do the same side with this. Like I said, it's so hard for me 
to make the other side look like the other side. Like seriously, <laughs> that is my struggle. One side will end up too dark. One side will end up uneven. And I'm telling you, if you have two eyes that do not look the same, you really look weird. And that is me all the time because I can't get it to go right on both eyes. Okay, so we have that on. I guess that looks even. And now we're going to take and suddenly this brush, which is Studio Selection Blending Eyeshadow Brush. Um, doesn't have a number on it, so I'm sorry. But it's just this, it's a clean, clean brush. And you're going to go and kind of lighten the edges of that black out. So. You just don't want no harsh edges where the black meets. I'm going to say crimson color. I could be wrong, y'all. And you just blend that out. Like that. Okay, is that repeating? Okay. So now, we go back in with the purple brush that we used for the dark. Yeah, for the dark. And just tap it and go under here. You want to bring this down under your eye lashes. Like that. Like, don't get it in your eye because that hurts for you. y'all bear with me this looks like a total disaster mess but once we start doing the other this look will come together i promise okay so i know you look like a total disaster but it will be beautiful okay now that we are done with that i'm going to take the Stay Matte Soft Matte Concealer Full Coverage and it's by Rimmel, Rimmel, London and the color I use with this is 120 Vanilla and you're just going to go back under the eye and up under the eye up under the eye Down the sides of the face, which I see a lot of people that do not do that. I do. And then on the chin. Alright. Now, with the pointed end of your sponge, and tap, 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 tap. Tap it up. And guys, I may be doing something totally different than anybody else. And, you know, what I do may not be for you. But, maybe there is someone out there in YouTube world that is like, hey, 
don't like her makeup. Don't want you to know about me. And then there may be some that thinks that I'm a total retard and don't know how to do makeup. Either or. I just thought that I would share with you how I do my makeup. Okay, so now that we have the highlighter on, now that we have the highlighter on, now we are going to use a regional formula. Airspun Loose Face Powder in Honey Beige. And a lot of people use this to bake. I do not recommend baking if you have dry skin. If you have very dry skin, this is only going to make it worse. If you have oily skin like me, like I have patches of oily skin, then the baking is for you. So, I take the tip of my sponge, like that side right there, and I stab it in there. Like, I don't know if you can see, but that's what it looks like. And bake under your eye. Do it again. Go on the other eye. You know, this powder smells amazing. Like, very, 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 very sweet. Amazing. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but I did bake underneath my eyes. And I break my chin because it gets oily. And my forehead. So just try to get that. Like okay. Okay. Sorry for this lighting, guys. It is like whew, crappy. Okay, so once you got that down, now we do the eyeliner. I use the Revlon Color Stay Eyeliner in 201 Black. Use this end and pull your eye down so that you aren't creasing your under eye. And guys, I promise, one looks bigger than the other. Like I said, I can't never get both eyes to look the same. I have that problem. Oh, let's get some more. Okay. Okay, this is good enough. Alright, and still take your eyeliner. And go, like, right in here. And make that black. Because we want it to all blend in. Okay. Okay. So, then we go in with. The, sorry, I got something in my eye. So then we go in with the eyelashes. And y'all, I got these off of Wish too. And these suckers are caterpillars. Caterpillars on your face. But hey, it's dramatic. I'm dramatic. So, there's another eyelash. I have eyelashes everywhere. All right, so yeah, I'm like all over the place with my makeup. I am not organized. 
when it comes to makeup because I'm just used to doing to blow them kind of dry a little bit. Okay, okay. All right. And I use tweezers. I don't use the eyelash tweezers. I use tweezer tweezers. Well, These are very, very dramatic. Look at that. Can you all see that? Like, let me go to them. If you can see that or not. Like, they're huge. Huge. Huge, huge, huge. Okay. Oh, it stuck to me. Ah! Alright. I'm very excited about that. I do not recommend wearing these all day long because they are so dramatic. But if you want to wear them for just like to snap a couple photos, then they are great. But I do not recommend wearing them all day because they are really dramatic and fluffy. Look, it's so huge. I can feel like I'm putting caterpillars on my eyes. Like, really. And these are another thing that I can't seem to ever get the same. Like, one will be flipped up, and one will be flipped down, and I'm like, Phew. But, you know, there they are, and they are huge, people, huge. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with Glam Full Coverage found, uh, Foundation 16-Hour Wear Oil-Free Hard Candy. And the color I use is 1507 Natural, 1507 Natural Hard Candy. And y'all, this smells amazing too. Like, this is the best foundation. Y'all can smell it. Let's go down here. Down here. And that kind of is the okay, outline of my face. And I go in with this sponge. And tap, 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 tap. Tap this. Tap the fire out of this. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. And y'all, I mean, please subscribe. Please subscribe and like. I promise there will be more footage of my hilarious life with my grandkids and my husband. And I love to cook, so maybe I could do some cooking shows. Like some cooking things. Like I can cook, so we may do those. Um, actually, we cannot wait to do a clothing haul. I actually need some new clothes. But now that we have that tap out, like, 
Can y'all see? Like, this was not, like, I don't, like, I don't know if you can see, but it's just, my lighting is for shit, but, like, it really covers everything. Like, I don't know, some of y'all may think that looks ridiculous, but everybody has their own opinions. Okay, now we're going to end with a dual-ended contour stick, and it is B. And this is by Believe Beauty. And you can find this at the dollar store. So, with this, which is going to seem very dramatic, but it's not when you're done. <laughs> okay, so just bear with me, people, because you're going to laugh your ass off and think that woman is crazy. But, we're going to outline the bottom of the neck. Take the funny little sponge. And then just start tapping and blending this out. This is going to make you look contoured. Did I say it right? 